Um, he will he will seriously try to play every character, and um, that's definitely shown um, some some pretty cool. It showed her uh, showed his skills like uh, they've come to light in this tournament. I'm trying to think of the, the right words, but um, yeah, no, but yeah it's very cool. Yeah, because as you were saying, it's like it's interesting to see that neither Ghost nor Luma made top eight today, which is kind of wild. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, you're right. Um, and, and we would have thought, like, the, again, those players, um, players who have, you know, who have played lots of characters throughout Ultimate's lifespan to a high level. But, um, but yeah, it's it's an interesting one. And, and also, this format is is just so funny. Uh, it's funny how it's balanced. It's funny how, like, the DQs obviously mean that they get to play two less characters um, over the course of over the course of the bracket. It's also funny how the um, if you play a character like obviously like that's an Echo Fighter. Then you've got the Echo Fighter on deck as well. But here we go. Rob K. Rule. K. Rule, wow. K. Rule in, in winners' finals. I did not expect to see this. Well, well, I I had a sneaking suspicion that Sumi would bring out the K. Rule because, um, so Sumi, I think Sumi's partner, um, yeah. I think Badger, I know, I know his tag was Badger Big Balls, but I think he may have changed it. Um, I, he's, I think he's a K. Rule player, so, um, so yeah, him him being a K rule player, um, maybe maybe Sumi has has picked up a little bit of K rule expertise and knowledge. Yeah, I, I can foresee that happening. And then I guess Jura's thing is that versing all of the Robs that Victoria has, I guess he'd be well acquainted with what Rob is trying to fish for. Yeah, no, v Victoria really is. Um, it's it's the Android City. It's it's like. Um, Detroit from Become Human, you know, like like it's um everyone is a robot. Even the people you don't think is a think are robots are robots, you know. Um, we have new people come into the scene, like like Scobos, like like relatively new to like offline tournaments, and he's he's a new Rob player as well. They just they come, they're everywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. Scobo but, um, Radio Seb Goodney. Uh, yeah. Like Mod, who is PR as well. Mod, yeah. Um, true. Like it never ends. That's not okay, man. Perfect. Rambo true. used to play like Rob. He's, yeah, like they just they keep coming up. Um, but but looking really good for Jura here. Looking like his Rob is is very nice. Yeah, it is quite polished because you can see that like he is utilizing Rob's tools in more of the fundamental sense instead of going for the overly technical things. Mm. But he's got a good use of the um, Z dropping on the aerials. -dropping. Yeah, I, I think um, so. So good work by Sumi taking that stock. But oh no, the bear bear at the ledge. Yeah, that's the classic. Um, the the thing with Rob that I think uh, a strength of Rob that maybe people don't don't really understand all the time is is how Rob has like fantastic burst options like with gyro in hand there's there's gyro throw which is amazing um, Rob also has like great stuff with uh like like dash attack um like bear um down tilt like there are some like really good uh. Like if Rob waits, essentially uh, waits for tech chases or, or waits um, waits for you to press a laggy button, he can get so much. Um, yeah. and, and Jura's really Rob's good got, at, at waiting. Yeah, Rob's got some of the best like boxing options in the game as well. His ability to keep you in a corner with so many different things is unbelievable, and then wow, just jank uh, you like that. Yeah, big big stage spike for um, for Jura there, and and that's one game. Yeah, one Rob game closer to the grand finals. Honest is not one of them. <laughs> yeah, that def definitely Rob is a contentious character to say the least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, got a lot of fans, but a uh, a lot of a lot of haters. You know, yeah. Yeah, I, um, I'm someone who I'm actively in the camp of. I love Rob. I think Rob is so cool. I think he is funny as hell to watch. But the amount of stuff that he gets away with just by being Rob is unbelievable. Mm, no, he's definitely a character that um, you can you can get a lot out of Rob, even if you haven't put like necessarily a lot of time in. I feel like Rob, the combos that Rob has, like the classic Rob Zero to Deaths, the stuff off Nair, the stuff off Gyro. Um, there's so much, so much reward, and and not actually a lot of. In some situations, there's not a lot of risk, but in other situations, there's not much of an execution barrier as well. I know Mod, who who was um you know PR um last season, um he 
he he described he's like yeah look i didn't really want to play smash too much and rob really he was like a working man's character for me you know like <laughs> I, I he has a full-time job and he was like yeah, yeah rob was great because i got to you know i learned all my great combos and i was able to play the game without um having to stress too much about labbing crazy combos or um or putting you know an insane amount of effort into into optimizing my tech or anything mm -hmm. um so so yeah, definitely a good character to bring out in a bracket like this, if if that's the way that you view Rob. Yeah, very much so. I actually think Rob. Oh no, oh, no! Jura has oh, no. just left the building. That's so grim. I think he lost his jump and he didn't realize. He ran off stage and he did for and he did the double jump by accident, which is um I'm sure we've all done that. Um, and yeah, he he fast fell, probably looking to jump back the ledge, but um, but yeah, he lost it. I think Rob is another character that's going to be fantastic throw out in a bracket like this. Oh, wow. yeah, up smash on the platform. Yeah, Plant um, Plant can definitely steal some stocks, and, and Patui is a great move. You know, Plant has a couple of key moves that are just going to do, going to give you a lot of mileage. Um, Poison Fog and Patui, uh, fantastic moves to tack on damage and fantastic moves to kind of like disrupt your opponent's plans as well. Yeah. Um, the thing with Patui, we didn't see it work out there because Ike has, has got quite a big sword, but sometimes if, if Plant's got the spiky ball above them and then you hit them, you still get hit by the spiky ball. Yeah. Um, okay, that one not killing, that back air. Um, but Sumi keeping Jura off stage and setting up nice, the poison cloud ledge trap. I think um, another great fact about picking Piranha Plant in a format like this is the fact that each plant plays slightly different, but you don't have as much time to adapt to that plant specific play style mm. because plant is quite a linear character in what it is that they want to achieve but if you can use it in a different way and you can basically just cheese it out for a game then you've just won the game and you don't have to stress about game two mm. I, I think I, I talked to Minnie about this one so who's a who's a plant player who's been around um and I think plant is a character that like really it depends on you playing around your opponent you really have to find the weakness in your opponent's game plan if your opponent chooses not to interact with you, there's really not a lot the plant can do. Correct. Um, so yeah, in a bracket like this, where maybe the each player isn't as comfortable with their character as they would be with their main, um, plant I feel like could could get a lot of mileage. But there's that dash attack, fantastic kill option from Ike, and uh, this could easily go either way. Even after that SD from Jura at the beginning, he was on like zero percent. Um, Jura looking so comfortable with Ike. Oh my gosh, so much damage, and at 94% in the, the off stage, Jura's looking for the dare, not finding it. Jura's movement with Ark is so good. Just mm. really precise spacing. Oh, if that was a good spike. There you go, it doesn't need to be a spike, my friend. That's hectic. That's so good. Ike, um, Ike's recovery, if you kind of, if he has low, low percent and you can put him off the stage like that, um, he's not going to make it back without a jump. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, one of, the, one of the struggles with the character, I think. Um, but yeah, no, what you said in, uh, sorry, I was about to say Inzi's movement. <laughs> Inzi is the, the Victorian Ike that is, is yeah. good friends with Jura. Um, Jura's movement was really good. Uh, very similar to Inzi, actually. Yeah. Um, he probably, probably picked up a little bit of those, those quick draw tricks and, uh, you know, like all the, the kind of things that Inzi likes to do with Ike, um, were, were showing a little bit in Jura's play there as well. So cool to see. Um, There's some good, um, character knowledge as well for knowing how far his initial dash is as well to just use that in micro amounts just to get that little bit of spacing instead of just running around like a headless chook yeah exactly um and and since this winner's final is top four now i'm pretty sure this is a best of five yeah this so so even though it's um it's game three now there's still you know this isn't the end regardless of, of who wins here there's still going to be more more games coming so we'll see what the tempo how the tempo changes I'm mm -hmm. um, going into this game three. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious as to what's going to get pulled out here because you can start to see that everyone's characters are starting to dwindle a little bit. Mm. I mean, Jura is still sitting on the Joker. He still has not mm. pulled out his Joker, which is his main. Um, I don't I think, think... He's wolf either. Yeah, look, the Jura Wolf has been a bit here and there. Like, he's not the biggest wolf player. But now he did pull out the Mewtwo, obviously, against um, Dew and the, and the Byleth. But it doesn't look like he's pulled out the Toon Link either. Although Jura did play Wolf earlier. Um, oh no, he did. Wolf yeah, versus yeah. Milkweed. But he hasn't pulled out the Toon Link, which is a Jura pick as well. Um, so the Toon Link could come out potentially. 
Yeah, hmm, it'll be. What else there is? Okay, that's regular Link, I think. Um, but yeah. was that Sumi or Jura? Yeah, that, that, I think that's Sumi. No, no that's, that's Jura. Jura. Yeah, Jura oh. on the regular Link. Yeah, uh, Jura's, I think, a fan of the Links. He likes Toon Link. He played Young Link earlier in the bracket, um, and he's he's bringing out the regular Link now. And Sumi on the King DDD. Wow, straight away getting that um that big Gordo, seventeen percent. Yeah, we got one player who's like a low tier hero, and the other one who is like consistently playing all top tiers and like high tiers. Hmm. I mean, Jura. I mean, mixes it up for sure. He he obviously played the Mewtwo before to great effect, and also um he you know he loves loves a bit of Toon Link, loves a bit of hero. He he plays all sorts, but um. But yeah, Sumi definitely. Um, I think her playstyle really does lend itself to uh, characters that can get a lot off of single interactions. Yeah. Um, she loves Robin. Um, even like her Incineroar has a similar theme. Wow, nice. Ooh. The bomb into Fair from across the side of the stage. That's um, huge for Jura and, and a little bit stylish as well. Yeah. Someone's been watching Razy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, we're playing against Razy. Oh, true, true, yeah. Yeah, that bomb at ledge is just doing so much work. Just for little work. It's so good. Mm, uh, it's a fantastic ledge trap, uh, having that there. And, okay, the Gordo's stuck to the side of the stage. That um, That's, I think, a 30% chance that it sticks to the side there. Um, and when it's stuck to the side of the stage, it is still an active hit. Oh, so... That was so clean! Wow. Yeah, le yeah, like ledge hog into the upbeat. That's so yeah, that's sick. that's the link special. Just like upbeat trump. Um, yeah, trump trumping with upbeat is so great with link because uh, it's really doesn't require like much execution, considering that the the link upbeat is like so big and it'll scoop you up from anywhere. Um, it's uh, a fantastic trump option. Dura's bomb use is so good. Oh, there you go. Yeah, unfortunately, oh, okay. off of the own. Yeah, getting hit by your own Gordo like four times. I think Sumi was a little bit too hungry for the Gordos. Oh, and she doesn't make it back. That's, That's uh, tragic. Yeah. Gordos in that matchup, maybe not the best decision. No, unfortunately not. But you don't know. That's the beauty of it. Yeah, you don't know. Going into it, picking DDD into Link, like, that's not uh, not something that these guys play every day. So, um, so great job for both of them for trying. And now Dura is up again, 2-1. Yep, so possibly only one more game of this set here. We, we can only see. I, I hope to see a game five. I love seeing game fives. Yeah, oh, it'd be sick. And I think um, the, the hardest thing now is I feel like Sumi's uh, grasping at straws a little bit with her character pool. Mm -hmm. um, not sure where she's going to go, if, if she's got something hidden character that she's going to pull out that, that we've all forgotten about, or um, if she's just, you know, kind of playing that puzzle game, trying all the pieces to see what fits. The Yoshi, okay. Wow. And the Jura Samus coming out. Now Jura, um, Jura's big on the Samus. I thought Jura already played Samus, but maybe you already played Dark Samus. I think you played Dark Samus. Yeah, that's the, uh, yeah, that's the classic. Two of the same character, Echo Fighters for Smashdown. Who would have thought? All right. Um, and straight away, like Jura's looking pretty in control here. I reckon Sumi's probably like, man, I wish I was playing Samus. Yeah, I know, right? Because her Samus has been so crisp. Her Samus was schmoving, um, but she can't pick that character anymore, and and Jura is is able to uh, to bring the punishment with these charge shots. I love the Zare edge guards, though. I think uh, Jura's Samus uses Zare fantastically well. Sumi really wasn't using Zare much when she was playing, um, but Jura Jura's a Zare enjoyer. Yoshi up there is a war crime, I tell ya. It's so crazy, and the fact that he like rises with it with the double jump as well, and like, oh yeah, three up airs, that's a true combo. Um, and it kills as well. Yeah, it's not okay. Um, oh, jab locks? Yeah. That was sick. Such a good setup there. Good awareness from Sumi. Okay, Sumi showing off that uh, maybe the Yoshi isn't just a, a pocket pick. Maybe there's something here. Yeah, her Yoshi is actually so crisp. Her movement with it is so good. Mm, I really like uh, using like the the nice like aerial movement that Yoshi has, like using the the short hops and drifting a lot. Very cool. I feel like the double jump armor is actually going to come in pretty useful in this matchup too. Yeah, there are a couple of moves that I, I could think from Samus that Yoshi could armor through, but um, 
as well. Samus also has a lot of big hits that the armor isn't going to matter for. Like, you take a charge shot, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, bang. That's, uh, that's rough to sue me. This is potentially, movie. potentially her, um, her winner's stock here. I I'm not sure if the game score is right. I think Jura's up 2-1, isn't it? Isn't yeah, Jura's up 2-1. Yeah, yeah. So that, that game score is just false, but, um, it's, it's, no problems. Um, but now, Sumi, okay, firing back, getting those up airs and uh, potentially taking. Oh, great parry oh, from Jura. Good parry. That move can break your shield. Okay. Yeah, have to parry that. So, uh, so Jura luckily coming in clutch. Great option from Sumi, though. I think that was almost the perfect time to get the mix up. Just unfortunate that Jura was oh, rough. Catching the air dodge. That was so good. That was such a great bit of ledge trapping from Jura mm. there. And so hard to detect that with the kill screen as well. That's one of the hardest things. Like now that Smash Ultimate has these uh these newfangled kill screens where you it slows the game down. Uh, you don't even know how to detect the spike. Like you don't know when the kill screen's gonna end, and um you might di in, but you have to press the button as you hit the 